guys, what's up? This is Nanya from Techbatic Solutions, and today I will review the Raspberry Pi. Now you might be thinking, why am I reviewing it again? Because I have already reviewed the Raspberry Pi about a year ago, but that was more of a specification-oriented review. I talked about how much RAM it has, how much performance it can deliver, but I never talked about what it can do and how I feel about it. First, I would just say this is an incredible device. It's a proper credit card-sized computer that you're getting for just $35. Now you might have to spend another $15 for certain accessories like Wi-Fi adapters, USB cables, or the Ethernet cables, micro USB adapter, etc. But within $50, you have a proper computer. Now that's a very good price. Now why I'm saying that? Because you can do almost anything with this device. You think about something, and the first thing that should come into your mind should be the Raspberry Pi. Let's say you want to make your home automated or you want to create your own cloud, you want to do something with robotics, you can use the Raspberry Pi. That's how cool this device is. Now let's look at the educational perspective. You can learn a lot of things from Raspberry Pi. You can learn how the operating system works. You can learn Python programming if you have never tried it. It is one of the most popular languages used for developing programs, applications, softwares on Linux operating systems. And you can teach your students or anyone who wants to learn from you. It's a very good thing. And lastly, I would like to talk about the Google Plus community of Raspberry Pi. It's huge. It's got more than 90,000 users. And why I say I like the community is because if you have any doubt about the Raspberry Pi, you can post that doubt on the community or you can even post a tutorial. You can learn a lot from the community. You can see what others are doing. And as I talked about, you can post a doubts. People will reply to those doubts. And that's the thing that I like about Google Plus communities and especially the Raspberry Pi community. So I really like this device, though it lacks Wi-Fi connectivity, but still I can hang out with the Ethernet cable or the Wi-Fi USB adapter. So I like this device a lot and I think every developer should have this device so that you can learn something or create something great or you know even start a Kickstarter campaign after creating something. So that's it with this video guys. I hope you liked it. Please rate, comment, subscribe and visit techbarrack.com.